Okay, to help speed this up, I already created a repository up on GitHub. That's what I like to use for my source control management system. Uh, I called it demo and modern NPM package and I initialized it there, cloned it locally or used the GitHub code space and then ran the NPM init command in my terminal like that and gave, well, it's already got all that, but you can see I, I renamed it the package JSON in the package JSON file that that generated, I renamed it to have a scoped name with my Clarkio account, the version, a description, the main index.js license and author and all that stuff, which you can change to what you need that to be for your project. The key thing to take away here is to ensure that you change the name to what you need it to be. You can follow along with a demo using your account or your organization name as the scoped package name. In the first video in this series, I had mentioned there's a blog post that you can follow along with, which I have open here. Link will be in the description below for this one as well. What we're gonna do differently from the blog post in this video is that we're gonna be working with just ECMAScript modules, ESM module format, because at this point now, ECMAScript module format has been natively supported in Node.js, either behind an experimental flag or without since version 12. At this point, we're up to version 22 of Node for their LTS version, which is their long-term support version. Okay. If you're building a new package today, you're going to want to just support ESM. Anyway, you likely don't have much of a need to be backwards compatible with the common JS module format. So we're going to focus on that in this video and skip through some of the common JS pieces in the blog post. 